Nissan has been selling the Kashikai subcompact crossover for several years in other parts of the world. Now it's coming stateside, but it won't retain the global name, which is difficult to pronounce and spell. Instead, it will borrow the well-known and profitable moniker from its larger sibling, the Rogue, with the word Sport tagged onto it. Nissan is marketing the Rogue Sport as slightly smaller and sportier than the family-friendly Rogue, which is its best-selling U.S. nameplate. The smaller part is not up for debate. The Sport is a foot shorter in overall length with a 2.3-inch squatter wheelbase. It's 5.6 inches shorter in height, and at just over 5 feet tall, one can see right over the thing while standing next to it. Total cargo space is down by 8.9 feet 3, with most of that coming from behind the second row of seats. Front legroom is virtually unchanged, but rear legroom is down by 4.5 inches in the Sport. It's marketed toward younger, more urban buyers compared to the Rogue, generally, people with no children who are looking for just enough space, Nissan says. It's definitely compact, especially when you behold it from the outside. In the driver's seat we get the sense we're in a bigger vehicle thanks to the upright position and a belt line that doesn't creep too high. The front row feels spacious, and had we not seen the car from outside beforehand, we could have been fooled into believing we were sitting in a cove from the next segment up in size. Even with the moonroof, headroom feels ample. As for the rear seat, there are no illusions there. It's a bit more cramped, particularly when it comes to legroom, but it seems a perfectly comfortable place to ride around town for an evening, if not for an extended road trip. 2017 Nissan Rogue Sport 2017 Nissan Rogue Sport 2017 Nissan Rogue Sport 2017 Nissan Rogue Sport The sportier part of the equation is arguable, especially considering the Rogue Sport has a smaller engine than the Rogue. Its 2.0-liter four-cylinder motor 